And we're back. Hey there everybody, it's Shadow Sonic here to bring you part 21 of my Sly 2 Let's Play. In the last part, we managed to take down all the engines and got contacted by Carmelita. In this episode, we're going to help her find this place so she can lend us aid in downing the old bird once and for all. What's this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental mega jump pack. By pressing the R2 button, you'll perform a huge jump. So be careful. All right. Sounds like fun. Darn it. I thought I had that code in my case. Yeah, sorry, but I just know that there is a code available to have this pack anywhere. Like, even outside of this mission. I think you can see why you'd want that, since it's pretty freaking cool. It's not a very complex code, so... However, so... It shouldn't be too difficult to find. I think it's just, like, a shoulder button and... a face button or something like that. I try to figure out what it is for you, but obviously you wouldn't. I wouldn't know whether it worked or not. <laughs> anyway, assuming that you are not willing to cheat in order to get all the clue bottles in any way, shape, or form, now is the time that you want to use the to look for those clue bottles. Because obviously it is much easier to go around looking for them when you have the ability to jump like you're on the moon. one. I fell through the thing again. Why? Ah, that's where the other one is. Alright. And on to position on to tower number three. Okay. Let's get up there. Get up there. No, wrong spot. Wrong spot. This thing spins, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. I was just being stupid, apparently. And then we have one more tower to get. I'll see if I can hear any clue bottles along the way, but I very much doubt I will. Oh! Right! It's that one! I'm surprised at how many worlds I just naturally got all 30 clue bottles in.
Unfortunately, we lose our precious jetpack. So, I am going to quickly get that invisibility power for no reason whatsoever. You know, because I can. There we go. Didn't know how to deal with that chair, did you, Sly? Got the shadow power move. Yep, shadow power move renders you completely, completely uh, invisible, but you can only move at a small crawl. Kind of like that upgrade to the to the invisibility move in the first game. Anyway, we now have only one thing to do in order to finish the game, and that is to head over there. Really, the mission doesn't have operation, whatever, next to it. And how the heck am I supposed to know what to title it? Every time before I've titled it whatever Bentley titled it, but you didn't title it this time. Gah. Whatever. I'll think of something. I mean, of course you'll know that I think of something, because I would have... You would have seen what it was. I know. That's not flirty chit chat. Uh, no, I don't really see how it is. So yeah, basically any. It's basically every. Uh, basically every turret game again. Alright. Come on. More, more, more. No, they're not allowed to hit me. Oh, I have to hit the edge of that, and then maneuver myself in the middle of it. Ah, stupid bullets. Good, you know that it's Neela in there. That'll make it all the sweeter for you, huh? Okay, hit the edge of you, hit the edge of you, and hit the edge of you. Good. And... Come on. Close, so close. At least she's only flinging out three things at a time. Slowly but surely, she's taking damage. That was some terrific shooting. Ooh, that must have hurt him, or her, whatever. Fly, fly. Oh, we've got a 
can't just shoot the bird down. Not with... not with our friends captive. So instead we're gonna do a massive amount of paragliding! Oh, and uh, don't be scared about if something... Don't be scared if something looks too far to glide to, it's usually going to maneuver right into your direction. Don't worry, the Murray shall be freed! I'm almost there! Just a little longer! And there we go! We are at the bird! Yeah. This won't be any different. Be brave while you can. Why not if you look out for your hate when I feel some some power growing within me? Oh, that doesn't sound good. Alright. We want to get up here and on this side. Ah, couldn't launch an attack, could you? <laughs> that was far easier than last time. We we did it. Right? Oh. It's an emotional moment. Die, die. Watch out. Ah, crud. Still kicking. Lockla mentioned something about a heat chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery. I'll pry open that beak so that Bentley can go to town with his bombs. Yeah, this game unfortunately takes the easy final boss sprout. I mean, it's almost pathetic here. I mean, what's the point of an ending that has no challenge to it? Why did you have to get a god complex? <laughs> Especially when you're so pitifully weak! Alright. Well, looks like it's hate ship right here. So yeah, like I said, easy ending which is very pointless. She's about to explode. Oh. Maybe not so pointless then. Bentley, I'll save you. Pick me up. I can't walk. Yeah, he's paralyzed now. So that is why the boss was so easy. Lure you into false sense of security. 
And now there's no way to avoid that fate. Sadly. And there we were, at the end of the road. The claw gang had been defeated, and the clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps. Yet, despite the explosion, they remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on Clockla. So she took it out on what was close at hand. The hate chip. And just like that, it was over. Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. That's not how, how physics work! Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. Of course. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast mm, That is so a problem. I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. And yet she's still called Inspector for some reason. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, well, everything. Books, <laughs> music, <laughs> art. <laughs> It was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours. A fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. Yeah, that's she a bit weird. asked the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. <laughs> Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find you, Cooper! And that was Sly 2, Band of Thieves! I'll be seeing you soon, Greentail. Quite the good game, I, if I do say so myself, though not my favorite in the series. And... We have an interesting little feature during the credits this time. A bit of, uh, what happened after to certain people. I really expected part of it to come up by now, but... Okay, here we go, here's a bit. Er, no. <sighs> well, this scene looks a little... Looks a little familiar. Kind of like that... Stamp cartoon that we... That I showed off way back in the early days of the Let's Play. Inspector Carmelita Fox continues to search for Sly Cooper, whose current whereabouts are still unknown. Dimitri went to work as a dance instructor on a cruise ship. Fitting, I guess. Rajan now owns a series of rug outlets across North America. Uh, that seems a little weird. The Contessa went on to become the most successful real estate agent broker in the greater... Wait, did she hypnotize people into buying houses? Jean Bisson went on to work for the EPA! Pretty good guys, you know, rescuers. And ended up frozen yet again on a rescue mission saving baby penguins. Ah, <laughs> oh boy. Well, yeah, so. Next up. 
Okay, that's it, it seems. I've seen everything in the game. I won. Go outside. You can't make me! Hey. <sighs> but anyway. That is it for this game. If ever you want to watch the credits again, you can just wait for the police badge to show up in the bottom left corner and hit square. And... For the final time, Anthony, send us off. It's Waluigi! <sighs> anyway, if you liked the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that I can become super popular! Ahem. <clears throat> eh, him too. Thank you. Also, be sure to let me know what you want to see in future videos! Whether it be the games I'm playing, or just general let's playing advice that you think I could use. Until next time, where we're going to be doing a different game, obviously. This is Shadow Sonic, signing out. <laughs>